All right, it's been a while since we did one of these, but today we got a, a reaction video for you. So today we're going to look at a ad, a political ad for Jerome Davidson, who's running in Arizona. Yep. So uh, I guess we can go ahead and get into it. Mm -hmm. uh, to give you a little bit more background, he's a former football player. He's running for, I believe, a Congress seat in Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. And you know he's running on the classic Republican platform of fighting for freedom. So let's let's check it out. Let's see what we got, bro. Democrats like to say that no up, one stop. needs an AR-15. <laughs> Already? Stop right there. That no one could. <laughs> Already? Stop it right <laughs> Powerful image. Powerful image to start off. Start off. But I see, I see that he got a bat there. Yeah, what what is the? It just say uh, okay. We, yeah. yeah, we'll get back into it. But that's 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 off top ridiculous. I, not that they don't exist, yeah. but for them just to be popping up like that. Let's let's let let's, let let's, let's, let's see what he has. Democrats like to say that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense. <laughs> that no one could possibly need all thirty rounds. Oh God! <laughs> but when this rifle is the only thing standing between your family. And a dozen what angry thing? Democrats in Klan hoods. You just might need that semi-automatic. And all 30 rounds. Who lost their head? Jerome Davis for I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. They, That's they, bonkers, between, bro. Between him and uh, Herschel, they make football players look terrible. Bro, CET is real. <laughs> Yo, he hit all the beats, though. They had him look like he was praying in the beginning. You know, they love that. Then they mentioned they slandered Democrats, guns. He was hitting, he was hitting every mark in that little 30 second clip, bro. My thing is, why, like if if, if these are Democrats and they show them to beat you at your beat you up at your house, why they ain't got guns? Bro, that was my first point, bro. Why they ain't got guns? I was like, the bat, the bat situation, he came to his house with a bat. Now, you know, it is it would nowadays bring a gun, like yeah. shotgun or something yeah. typical, but why don't they have guns? They had like forks, like you know. So it was like they, the weapons the uh, the clan had. It was like they was going to you know get Frankenstein or something. They right. Really, they really That's what they that. had at the time. <laughs> yeah. So it really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like what and they got uh, ARs with thirty rounds. Like what is the? The only thing I can think of against that point is if if Democrats are against guns, then they wouldn't use guns. But at the same time, we talking about Democrats in clans clansmen outfits. Coming to beat your ass, like I don't think they worried about. Well, I hope he wasn't. He wasn't saying they that the Klan went was Democrat. Yeah, he said. He said. The, he said he, when the Klan he, shows up, he said. He the said when the Democrats show up, and they happen to be in Klan outfit. So I think he's making that juxtaposition, Ooh. even though like the Klan has publicly came out in support of the Republican Party and like Donald Most Trump. Yeah, uh, yeah, obviously. and white nationalists. Hello, man, go back to that part. Currently, I, I can understand you trying to say. Uh, like maybe historically, Democrats yeah. fall for slavery, but yeah. right now, yeah. the people that align with that ideology and willing to wear clans hoods are part of the GOP. For for me, for me to to his point, like you lose on that point. Where you say, well, they say we don't need thirty rounds. Okay, well, if you got thirty rounds and you say a dozen of them have thirty rounds, it's like <laughs> you you <laughs> you know, have twelve times your your ammunition, my yeah. boy. <laughs> And if they came to your house, they came to your house prepared. Yeah. Now, if they were locked and loaded with only five, they'd have put eyes better in your favor. Yeah. Than, you know, 30, 30, 30, you know, they still got more, 12 times yeah, more. Yeah, they got you, more but than you. That, but that's why they but, had to have the, the backs and the. Because they had ARs that didn't. It would have, he would have been, it yeah. would have been a wrap. That doesn't just. If know. he would have actually followed the thinking that logical people would have, if they come to your house to take you out. That 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 ad wouldn't have happened. It was a bad. It was it was bad for a black man anyway. Cause people most, people don't care about that clan stuff. Not the not the people that's voting for your party. Some of them may be in yeah. the clan. They might be offended that you gave them credit for the Democrat credit yeah, for being yeah. the clan. Like what you doing? That's <laughs> like us. you feel me. So yeah. it's like it's like and then, then I didn't even think about it. He might he might everybody been missed up. Yeah, it might have been missed up. Just as a black man, nobody cares about you. You know that much in, in Georgia where they got one of what the the racist uh, restaurant at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like nobody really. The clan is there where you at. Yeah. 
Well, well he like, in Arizona. He runs for Arizona. Arizona. Oh yeah, well, no, no, I was wrong about that. I thought it was. But I did. Close. I did a little digging in the back. Turns out his campaign manager is, is Herschel dude. Walker running for uh, in Georgia. That's why they both got gotcha. said that stupid. <laughs> I learned that his campaign manager is a dude named Austin Steinberg, mm-hmm. who is who also goes by Baby Q, who's like a QAnon influence, who claims that he's from the future. Yeah. I know. So this is this is this is type of this is who managing his campaign right now. That's why you get stuff like this that don't make sense. A, it's just shocking all. And feed and feed into that base. But but uh, they, 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 them two is making football players look like they <laughs> bro, took CT too many shots real, to the head. Man. It's real. Dry miss. Come on. That's what this man said. And now you come out with this. Like every, like you the only one with guns. Like nobody else gonna have guns. But well, I think on a on a on a ser- more serious note, like you don't like that cool one. But people people who participate and I get it, bro, get your bag. Cause there's been an uptick in black people running on the pu- Republican ticket who who have really no chance of like winning. But you see a lot of them popping up, getting those donations and those them, those campaign funds. Mm-hmm. And once they lose, they just disappear with that bag. Yeah. I get it. People, you know what I'm saying? They getting their bag or whatever. And this is an easy way to do it. A black person the confirming ad. your beliefs. The ad costs money, though. Yeah, it do. That one ad. <laughs> but he still got the rest of that those uh, campaign funds. You make an ad like that, you may not get no money. I'm sorry. Somebody gonna vote that man. He's he may win if we check the poll number. Right. Let's 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 play it. Let's let's see how much attention he get. But what I'm saying is, people are popping up getting these bags. But I think people like this, like Candace Owens, Candace Owens, the Tim Scotts, Thomas Saul Wells, the Herschel Walkers, the Jesse, uh, what's his name, Jesse Lee Powell, that old dude. Like the the danger they pose is they reaffirm these beliefs that people have that really just kind of flips like oh if you know you just do what you need to do you know racism wouldn't exist look at these people they 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 in like they got it so these people become the poster childs for people like that just to rally behind and keep reaffirming that same belief they had because we got we got the good ones i gotta i gotta send you this video um what's the girl i think i think her name gabby and um uh, attack on titan you know what I'm talking about? The little girl that was a, a Eldian, but she was like one of the kids that's supposed to inherit the Titan. She the one that shot old girl. Sasha. Okay. Yeah. yeah spoiler alert. <laughs> for Attack on Titan. Yeah. Uh, she shot Sasha, but they he did a breakdown of comparing uh, Gabby with Candace Owens yeah. because they suffer from both the same things. Oh. Um, uh, if syndrome? I wanted, if I yeah, no, no, if I'm no. one of the good ones, then they'll accept me. Yeah. So he did a breakdown on that. I she did, bro. She did. I, yeah. Now nah, I can see the. So she said, if I if I go to war for them, if I uphold these beliefs, mm-hmm. then they will overlook me being LD or whatever, nah, and know. accept me into their ranks, like as a like as a full fledged member. And he was like, in a lot of ways, Candace Owens has has those same qualities because she grew up in a, a very white affluent neighborhood to the mm-hmm. point where she had to sue uh mm-hmm. that that they that uh school or whatever because she was being discriminated against so heavy. So he did like a like a comparison of them two and I was like, what? I didn't even think about that. That is a beautiful it's thing. like a Stockholm central thing. Yeah. Like if you accept me then, then yeah. this must be right. This yeah. Is right. You know. I mean that's right that's what you what surrounded by. Right. Ooh. That's a good. That's a good. Yeah, I, I was like, you know what? That's a, a good lot point. of people out here like Gabby. Yeah, that I don't even know about, bro. People that want to be accepted. That's all. Yeah, everybody want to be accepted by somebody. Everybody insecure. Yeah, you know? but like I was saying, man, like I understand people trying to get these bags, or they may even really believe the stuff, but they are really hurting the cause right now. Man, who caused though? Because they only hurt the Republican Party cause. It really doesn't harm the Democrats. Cause like we just admitted, it's a it's a dumb. I don't think so. I think people like Candace someone gonna make it harder for who, for people on the on the right, not necessarily people on the left. I don't think so. Why? Because they already they they are reaffirming what the people on the right believe. They are keeping that engine going instead of being like mm-hmm. actually challenging their beliefs. 
But like black people, I, I thought you were talking about black people. I'm talking about black people voting for either side. I'm not talking about. I ain't talking about that. I'm oh. talking about trying to fight this 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 party that already believes what they oh, want well, to believe. Oh, well, nah, that's not going to happen regardless because it's yeah. always going to be one or two. It, or it, it, All they need is one. Or one, they, they can have one. That's the problem that they have these people to you to you know weaponize what I'm saying is They can just use one person mm-hmm. to agree with one side of them and they'll be like, that's how black people are. If Steve Harvey right now denounced all all uh, uh, white supremacy yeah. and one day he said, well, I'm for uh, gun rights. I'm for us having, you know, 30 rounds. Mm-hmm. They will hop on that. Just that. They yeah. don't really need need they don't really need those people. Those people are always gonna be those people and those people are gonna follow those people anyway. Regardless if they regardless of how many they are, all it takes is one or half of one. Yeah, but that's not going against what I'm saying. I'm saying the fact that they have those people and they can use them as examples. What I'm saying is not hurts. helping or hurting because those people are always gonna say at the same level. If there's mm. ten people that's gonna regardless say that black people are like this or look this is one or, or that is one, they're gonna those ten people are always gonna do that. No, it I can think be I think anytime somebody has an idea and then they find somebody to confirm that idea, that in, that increases that's what I'm saying. their that's, belief in that. But I'm saying that it didn't help or harm because it's always gonna be somebody. They just need one person. That's why I'm saying it didn't increase it, it can be a hundred of those that come out. But I'm saying like it don't matter the fact that they have people mm-hmm. is the issue. Whether it's one person or ten or fifty, and the more they get, the more they like, yo, we had Candace Owens, now we mm-hmm. got thirty other black people that agree with us. That's just gonna keep Nah, I just disagree. Cause I think that's that standard, it's like anything with like certain extremes. Unless the outside force outside of that is gonna happen. Like I said, it could have been Steve Hart, he can agree with one point. Just the point of like black people can do better, and yeah. they hopped on that. The same ten people, and that would have been that would have been a, a but I don't take that. But I don't take that as hurting or harming when it's always going to be those ten people. There's no ten people going to make up that for anything. Look at Jay Z; he made it by his bootstrap. Jay Z could be so supportive of Democrats, but as long as they have an, a person, it's always going to be a person. Whether they agree with them or don't agree with them, they'll make up something for them to be for them to have to reaffirm their story. Mm-hmm. Just like with conspiracy theories, they don't need much; they just need anything. Just because somebody comes, but out and says, they need something. And what I'm saying is, once you like have something loop. to grasp on, yeah, that's like, going that's going reaffirm and keep reaffirming and bolster what you believe. I'm saying, like, if I'm and a I black think person, that's what these people do. They're they gonna do it anyway. If I'm but they person, doing it, I'm, and they using these people. If I'm a black person walking on one side of the street, and there's a black person wait, uh, walking on the other side of the street, and the police officer stops the other, clearly does. Clearly stopping him from some racist or uh, uh, racist reason mm. because I'm walking down the other side of the street because I exist and only because I exist. Yeah. If you call that racist, those same ten people who's gonna say something anyway are gonna say it's not racist because he didn't do nothing to the black guy that was walking across. Yeah, but That's it's gonna saying. be a bigger problem if the person that didn't get arrested or the person that got arrested starts defending the police. That's that means even more unless you talk to about those people. Yeah, that's what you, I'm saying. Unless you mean that's gonna increase them like talking louder, that's probably it. But it's still, it's still gonna be ten people. It's not gonna be like another ten. Because I'm not like arguing this. that they're gonna believe what they believe. Oh, what really? I'm arguing is, but which is also debatable because we talk about when people get in front of people that are that believe differently, actually experience those people. They'd be like, oh, well, I was just being dumb. But if you get around somebody who is just lying at the ass, if you get around a Candace Owens versus somebody like you or me. I, now I'm introduced to somebody who I'm talking about. A who, blanketed person, a person that don't know nothing. Yeah, you know, and now now I'm around that person, but they're confirming what I believe. That's going to bolster what I believe. Oh, uh, so are we talking about a blanketed person or a person who already have a, a belief? Both, because oh, we've what, seen examples what? of people who, who grew up in this shit, and then they meet somebody, and they're like, yeah. oh, well. Yeah, I'll give you the ignorance. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Ignorant, like, yeah. oh, well, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't know any better, but mm-hmm. if you all you introduced to are people who reaffirm your beliefs and then you meet somebody who you actually talking about like oh black people do this black people do that and then you meet a black person and they be like yeah black people do do that they be like oh well oh. I'm right I don't know I, I, I still say those that people they just be a certain amount of people people gonna be crazy to be crazy but you give them you give them crack versus meth they you gonna on, see a difference I don't, and what you I'm gonna saying, see a difference what I'm saying they still on drugs <laughs> 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 they on drugs. Was, they on drugs. Like that that certain certain people gonna be because uh, for me, them people, those people are never gonna not exist. Yeah, never. No matter what the situation right. is, 
I get that you get now they got allies. They got mm-hmm. allies to speak for them, like you know, and things they can point to. But or, or or solid or things that are more solid to point to. But I think yeah. they can find anything and everything to point to. Well, of course, those are those people. But I don't want to give you the ammunition. I don't want to give you ammunition. I want to give you it. But if you're gonna have, but I don't think that's giving me because I think that with black people, it's gonna be them too. What? There's always gonna be people the Candace Owens of the world. It's like you got uh uh what's my man before uh Candace Owens? It was the judge. What's my man's name? The black judge, the dude who married the white woman. Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas. Yeah. You're gonna have what what's my uh, the other dude that died, they made fun of him on uh SML. He was a fly on John McCain's head. <laughs> he died from he, he actually died from COVID. Uh and they made fun of him on SNL. Black uh, dude? Black dude. Uh, oh, I know you talking about uh, Herman Herman, Herman, Herman McCain. McCain. Yeah. yeah, see, I mean those yeah. people. It's just those people. Now I'm pretty sure if I keep looking back, it's always gonna be somebody that that those people are just going to exist. Mm-hmm. And it's not like something we give them, and and and, and it's not something that they give. You know, it's not like for me. It's not like we give them anything because these people are gonna go out there. They're not really with us anyway, mm-hmm. or see or understand that they not. They yeah. I don't know how much it harms, but I think it's going to be always going to be like that. Exactly. I think it. I think it does a lot to have this person you can point to at these rallies and stuff to be like, oh yeah, because we already got a problem where if you if you're the only black person in the room for some reason we represent black people. So if you got a black person in the room and this black person who the only one you really fuck with like that mm-hmm. is reaffirming what you believe, I think that could be an issue. But if you can't, instead of somebody yeah, challenging you, or blase blase. But if you if you can't give, if you can't see that this is the only person, it's less of these type of people than those other people that are really suffering. Uh, suffering, they're gonna be like, that anyway. yeah, you're gonna be mad. Yeah. Oh yeah. I wasn't recording. So this is gonna be audio. <laughs>